When 10th ranked Liberty travels to Southern Illinois on Saturday, there will be a number of firsts for the Flames. It will be the first ever meeting between the Flames and Salukis. A win would be Liberty's first over a Missouri Valley Conference opponent, and it's the first of four straight road games for the Flames. We're going to do it like we always do. It's game by game for us. So, uh, you know, the schedule aspect of it, you, you have to always look at it game by game. If you look at it more than that, then we're in trouble as coaches and as players. Personally, I'm excited because I think it's going to test our, our team really well. And, um, you know, for me, that that's what I want us to, to have this year. We want to be tested, but also be able to come out with victories and, and at the same time. The Flames are coming off a pretty big victory last week. Liberty down then 7th ranked Montana 31-21 at Williams Stadium. This week, Liberty faces a Southern Illinois team that's unranked and winless after two games. However, SIU's losses at Indiana and Southeast Missouri were by a combined four points. A year ago, Liberty beat a ranked Bryant team in Lynchburg, only to lose on the road the following week to Missouri Valley member Indiana State. It was a shocker to us after the game because we did kind of come out after the big win, come a little relaxed, thinking we would just go through the motions and, and um, play play pretty well, which you see that can't happen with us. So but that that game is definitely in the back of our minds because this is similar type game. Sort of in the same situation, I think Indiana State was 1-2 and two when we played them last year, and this team's 0-2. So uh, they're a good football team. Obviously, Indiana State was a good football team last year, even though they started 1-2. and two. So uh, we're definitely not going to go in there and breeze over them. Southern Illinois has averaged more than 500 yards of offense in its first two games. Quarterback Mark Iannotti, a dual threat passer and runner, leads the country in total offense at 426 yards per game. His 517 yards at Indiana were a school record. You know, a couple of plays against Indiana, uh, you know, they showed run. And, you know, uh, naturally your secondary and everybody's going to try to come tackle him because he is very, uh, very athletic with his feet. But then he was able to just play action pass and get some big plays. So we're going to have to do a great job of being disciplined with our eyes in the back end. Uh, you know, I know we're going to do a great job with the front seven of fitting our gaps. Well, I think it's, it's nothing drastic that we have to change. Uh, just everybody got to do their assignment. Uh, you know, everybody has a assignment to do. They have a job to do, and they got to do their assignment and job well. The Salukis' defense allowed 48 points and more than 500 yards to Indiana in week one. They bounced back in week two, holding Southeast Missouri to just 13 points in 13 possessions. Flames offensive coordinator Aaron Stam has some idea of what to expect, being that he's seen SIU head coach Dale Lennon before. I was a young assistant up at Mankato State and St. Cloud State. He was the head coach at University of North Dakota, and he won two national championships in my first four years. Uh, and he was a defensive coordinator at North Dakota before that. They're a good crew. You know, they do enough where you got to be prepared for uh, a lot of things. Um, they've played a lot of people uh, this year also, too. So um, a big thing is just going to be us, you know, sustaining drives. To be honest, they don't have any, you know, standout really, you know, All-American type players, but they're a solid group. You know, they play really well together. So um, that's a big that's a big thing for us is we're going to have to execute really well as a team. As far as execution goes, the Flames will definitely have to be better on special teams. They had two punts blocked in last week's win over Montana and averaged just 29 yards per punt, their lowest in a game since 2013. One bit of good news. There are no injuries to report this week for the Flames. Everyone is healthy and good to go. As far as the four-game road trip, it'll be Liberty's longest since 2001 when the Flames were on the road for five straight. Now, many of the Flames downplayed the extent of the road trip and what effect it'll have on the team, and Josh Woodrum even went as far as to say it's a good thing, and this is the closest team that he's been on since he's been here. He's confident the team can handle it. In Lynchburg, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.